Trafficking in human beings is a gross violation of human rights. People are exploited, violated and abused in sectors such as construction, domestic work, sweatshops and the sex industry. Trafficking is about money. Traffickers, pimps, middlemen, employers all make a lot of money out of the exploitation of people who never see a penny of what they should have earned. Even after escaped, even if the perpetrator is convicted, traffic persons seldom receive compensation for unpaid wages or damages suffered. There is no justice without compensation, because compensation is the justice. It's the best tool, the best mean for a traffic person really getting back the dignity and the recognition of the fact that they lost wages, that they lost uh, health, that they lost um, livelihood through the process of being exploited and trafficked. Compact is an initiative by La Strada International and Anti-Slavery International to bring access to justice and guarantee compensation for trafficked persons. Compact is a coalition of partners in 14 countries NGOs that provide direct services to trafficked persons and give them shelter and assistance, but also with lawyers, with trade unions, with migrant rights organizations. We all work together to guarantee compensation for trafficked persons. The right to compensation is there. It is already foreseen by international instruments, by national legislation, and nobody would uh, deny that a victim of a serious crime is entitled to compensation. But the, the real problem is that does not happen. It's very clear that state has an obli all states have obligation to ensure that at domestic level that it is possible for victims of trafficking to obtain compensation. Uh, this is a right. It should be, right? And, and it's a right. And it's not a charity. And it's something that states must respect. Is it happening? Of course it's not happening now. Compensation is a, an obligation, is a, is a right for the victim, but first an obligation to the, for the states. Uh, it is Article 15, Paragraph 4, which makes an, an obligation to the state parties, to the convention, to, uh, uh, to, to guarantee the compensation uh, of the victims of trafficking. It's quite crucial uh, with regard to access to remedies, uh, re redress, recovery and reintegration of victims. Victims uh, have a feeling that they receive justice through compensation. Uh, they, they have the perception that uh, the, the public institution have, have, has recognized their situation of exploitation and uh, um, uh, is taking action to give them um, what is fair? It is uh, an important component of an empowerment strategy. That victim has at least the right to reintegration in society and to do that compensation is one of our ways of ensuring that this is done. So for me it's fundamental. If you get profit uh, out of this uh, criminal activity then you weaken uh, the whole network. Uh, confiscation of assets it's uh, like a penalty for the trafficker but also uh, this confiscation will be uh, should be used also to compensate the victims looking into financial investigations is one way uh, of going about that working on asset recovery is one way of ensuring that there are funds available for the compensation of, of, uh, of victims of the countries, or actually in all of the countries that we have analysed, we found out that there are laws in place that allow for victims of trafficking to access compensation, but there are systematic and procedural obstacles that actually prevent them from accessing that right and uh, accessing those entitlements that are created in, in those laws. I mean, I heard more than once on the national level, and not only, people say, oh, um, 
he's a migrant, illegal migrant, or she's a prostitute, and they even want to make money out of it through compensation. What are we compensating them for? When we support the trafficked women, we learn that it's a really long process that they get compensation. That means that they have the money in their hand. At the beginning, um, the, to build up the strength of the person is very, very important because she has to realize if she really wants to enter a compensation claim that it has, can be a long procedure and it, it can be that she has to uh, tell again and again her story will happen to her. Although compensation is an established right for trafficked persons, there is very little awareness of this right. Uh, we see it with lawyers who don't know that they can claim compensation for their, for their clients. We see it with prosecutors who don't bring in the compensation claim in a case. We see it with intergovernmental organisations that have too little awareness of this. But we also see it with us, with the service providers and the NGOs. We have too little knowledge to really support our clients through a compensation claim. And this is what we try to change with the Compact Project. One of the ways how we are trying to change it is to not only identify what these obstacles are, but work with our national partners to find ways how to overcome these obstacles and provide them with tools and guidance on how to, for example, test the law and, and try out a first case in an employment tribunal or look at ways how people can apply for compensation uh, as a part of criminal proceedings. Compact partners are working to bring about practical changes to ensure that trafficked persons receive compensation. By raising awareness, doing research and developing practical tools such as a decision tree poster and a guidance for professionals who support trafficked persons in claiming compensation. Nobody really talked about compensation. And now we have uh, uh, something in place. Uh, the, uh, the awareness about that uh, increased a lot. Um, and we have also, uh, you know, practical uh, tools to bring forward, uh, forward this work. Make compensation a reality for trafficked persons.